all right so welcome back to some more apex i hope you guys are having a very good day as always and ever since season 5 dropped there's been many changes in this game many new features added in and the devs did a good job of actually telling us most of these changes but there are some secret features some hidden changes that you guys might not know about and i am obviously here today to inform you guys and give you all of these secret changes in game now if i do miss any changes or any features in this video be sure to comment down below and let me know what you actually came across in game but I think for the most part this video should cover every single secret change currently in Apex Season 5. As always if you guys are ready be sure to leave a like and if you're still not subscribed that makes you part of the 78% of viewers who watch my videos and don't subscribe. So if you enjoy my content and you want to see me reach 20k I'd appreciate if you can click that sub button it helps me out so much and I'm just thankful for every single bit of support that you guys give to this channel. Alright so let's get straight into these changes and stop talking. So first up I want to take a look at this new secret bunker in King's Canyon. Now I actually saw this bunker in the launch trailer for season 5 but for some reason it took me like 3 or 4 days to find it in game. But I finally found it for you guys and if you actually land here right you're guaranteed to get some sort of high tier loot. It could be epic, it could be legendary but this area always has pretty good loot as well. So I'm going to show you guys how to get to the secret bunker from the dropship and be careful it's actually not like you know fall off the map and they're trying to land here because it is in a very sticky spot and if you don't time your landing precisely enough you could potentially fall to your doom and that that'll be the game right there so when you're trying to get to this bunker be cautious because it's still pretty easy to fall off now you can also get to the secret bunker by just jumping down but this is also very risky because if you miss your jump you're gonna die so as more people begin to learn about this area it's gonna be more crowded and stuff so that's why i think that if you guys actually have the chance you should just land here straight from the dropship so if you guys haven't been here as yet i recommend checking it out it's pretty nice and who knows you might just get some crazy loot if you land here Alright so next up I want to talk about a secret octane buff, it's not really a buff though it's more of a fix but octane's hitbox has finally been addressed in season 5. So if you guys don't know what was wrong with octane's hitbox in the past, well basically he had like two heads because his head hitbox, especially his head was extremely like big so you can basically shoot the air around his head and still do headshot damage which is insane. So this will no longer be taking place in game because respawn has finally fixed this. They also addressed a revenant's hitbox as well. So whether you want to play octane or revenant you hopefully should not be getting beamed as much in season 5 because those hitboxes have been fixed and addressed. It honestly makes sense because I could remember in season 4 whenever I actually came across a revenant they would just take so much damage. I would beam them every single time and it's basically because their hitbox, well his hitbox, revenant's hitbox was just bugged right. So that that's fixed now and hopefully that should not be happening anymore in season 5. Respawn also fixed the gold barrel muzzle flash bug in season 5. In season 4 when Respawn actually kind of like patched muzzle flash for all weapons. For some reason the gold barrel still had even more muzzle flash than every single other barrel stabilizer in the game and that makes no sense because the whole point of the gold barrel is to is to reduce muzzle flash right so it's completely just kind of like contradicting itself but in season 5 it seems as if respawn has finally addressed this issue because the gold barrel is now clear as day there's no more muzzle flash and it's very very easy to control any gun with the gold barrel now. So I tested the R99 in the firing range with the gold barrel and as you can see there's little to no muzzle flash 
on it so it's a very good fix and finally respawn fixed this bug we also have some very good news for all controller players and console players in season 5 i'm obviously a playstation player myself but respawn has kind of given us some some help in terms of looting because you can now crouch spam on controller when you're looting a death box this was always one of the biggest downsides when playing on console or controller because pc players just have so much extra movement when they're looting a death box and console players are just always stationary and still so although we still can't strafe as yet on controller at least we can crouch spam which hopefully should help us out a bit when we're trying to get loot from those death boxes so this right here is a good step in the right direction the sentinel also got a nice little buff in season 5 and for some reason this buff wasn't actually mentioned in the the patch notes but instead of taking one battery to like charge up the sentinel now you only need two shield cells which is a very good change in my view it makes this sniper rifle a lot more i don't know usable and effective for actually taking off shields from enemies. I was always kind of hesitant to use my shield battery to charge up my sentinel if I even had one, but two shield cells doesn't seem nearly as bad as a whole shield battery to charge up a sentinel, right? So I actually will be trying out the sentinel a bit more in season five because of this small buff. All right, so Lifeline also got a very, very small nerf in season five. It's not that big at all, but basically you now can't move a Lifeline's drone when you actually place it down it's in one position it can't move and if you're out in the open trying to heal that drone is gonna stay there now and this to me is a, a useless change it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me because lifeline was always in a pretty decent position and being able to move her drone was just a good feature to have so for all you lifeline mains out there who play around or maybe you just play pubs you won't be able to move the drone anymore it's in one place you can't move it and yeah that's that now while lifeline got a very small nerf crypto got a very small buff as well because crypto can now ping banners while in drone to warn teammates of nearby enemies now this small buff was in the patch notes but honestly it was overshadowed by the patch pathfinder nerf because everyone was so up in arms about pathfinder being nerfed that much so most people just kind of like skipped over the fact that crypto got a very small buff but this here will be very useful if you're playing with randoms i mean if you're playing with a squad you pretty much should be talking to your squad and telling them if enemies are near but if you have a random crypto on your team then this should be very helpful all right so the anvil receiver which i actually did not use that much in season four it just wasn't my preferred playstyle. but the anvil receiver has been vaulted in season 5. I'm not sure if you guys picked up on this but obviously respawn introduced the skull piercer rifling and took away the anvil receiver as the hop up for season 5. I'm honestly very happy about this because to me the skull piercer is much more effective as a hop up and the anvil receiver honestly didn't really do that much for me. So huge effing shot for the anvil receiver it's no longer in the game it's been vaulted and the skull piercer is obviously here now. The wingman also got a very small nerf it's more of a fix it's not really a nerf but it still will not negatively impact the gun's performance right so basically they fixed the bug where the wingman had too much crouch accuracy so now you should have less accuracy while crouching and hip firing using the wingman now i've been using the wingman since season 5 dropped because of skull piercer and honestly i haven't picked up on this nerf it's so like small you really don't even notice it but the wingman should have less crouching hip fire accuracy in game as of now so if you guys actually picked up on this change let me know i personally don't think it's a big deal but for you guys who love to use the wingman it's good to just understand and you know be up to date with what's changed and the final secret in season 5 is something that none of us actually know about we don't know what to expect and this is the brand new quest now we do know the process of completing this quest because you have to collect five treasure packs and on may 19th you'll be able to go and do these weekly hunts where you have to like recover an artifact and escape on king's canyon after dark but we don't know what the reward is of this quest what what the whole point of this quest is really and it's so much secrecy surrounding this whole season quest the reward could potentially be a new gun a new skin i don't know a new attachment we don't know what this reward is going to be but i'm guessing it has to be a very good reward because this quest is going to last the entirety of season five so i'll keep you guys updated of course i actually won't do any leaks or any like reveals and stuff for this quest because i think it's kind of like part of the apex story and lore but i'm very excited to see what respawn 
respawn has in store for us with this season 5 quest. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and also let me know if you have encountered any secret change, any hidden feature in Apex. Comment down below and let me know. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in some more Apex. Till next time.